Hello, this is Joe Greenslade with the Industrial Fasteners Institute, and I'm going to give you a demonstration of the IFI Technology Connection. First, you go to the IFI website, which is www.indfast.org. Once you have a username and password, you log in and go to the main IFI Technology Connection webpage. This is the uh, primary area from which you'll navigate. Uh, the, the heart of this uh, capability is this section right here uh, on fastener technical data. Uh, by using these series of menus, uh, you will be able to obtain information on just about any type of intrometric uh, threaded bolt or washer. Uh, First demonstration, we'll use bolts inch type. Let's go and select uh, hex head cap screws. Then we select the standard and we'll choose grade five. Use the size, one half, threads per inch, 13. We're gonna plate this so we'll get a thread class of 2A plated. This will be a two inch long bolt. And then on finish, we'll select a zinc and clear that is Rojas compliant. We simply click on generate specification and we create this single sheet with all the information you could possibly want on that fastener. The top section covers the thread information. The second section is the general uh, dimensional information other than threads. Below that are the physical uh, requirements. And you'll notice that automatically, based on your description, a tightening torque it is generated uh, answering one of the most frequent questions that comes up and below is the information about the uh, finish that you selected. If you want to share this information, you simply click on uh, print page that generates this page, uh, which is, uh, has all of that information on it. Again, that tightening value is right down here as an integral part. And once you're a subscriber, your logo will show up in this lower right-hand corner. You can then share these sheets with vendors and or customers or your own colleagues internally. Then we go back to the main menu. And we can select any other type of fastener that we want uh, using these pull down menus in exactly the same way to find those things. Now, we have many other additional uh, capabilities. We have a quick converter for fractions uh, to decimal. We have a very handy one here that is hardness. Uh, if you know the hardness, you can plug that in. Let's say we know the hardness is Rockwell C30, and we want to determine what the tensile strength of that material is. And automatically, once we do this, uh, all of the pertinent information pops up automatically. It tells us that the strength is 142,000 pounds per square inch or 979 megapascals. Uh, we've got uh, inch metric conversion. If we know a factor, let's say we know that we have uh, uh, 
uh, a certain number of uh, foot pounds or newton meters, I'm sorry, newton meters, and we hit calculate, that gives us the number of foot pounds. Or we can go, um, we can go the other way if we knew that we say we had 20 foot pounds, we hit calculate and that will tell us how many newton meters. So very quick for all of those factors that are used in the conversion of inch to metric in, in faster technology. Below we have a series of other capabilities. Uh, we have the uh, home page that we started at. We have the fastener specifications, which we've been through. We have uh, chemical requirements. Uh, we don't put this on the general page because it's not frequently asked for, but if someone wanted to know what are the chemical requirements for a grade five bolt, we put in the uh, SAEJ 425 grade five, and that gives us chemical composition requirements. Raw material conversion is a very uh, useful tool when we are uh, dealing with foreign companies, particularly transplants. Let's say that you're looking at a print and it has a JIS raw material designation. We go into here and select that uh, designation, hit submit. And that tells us that in our terms in the USA, we would call this a 5140 material. So we've got all of these standards from all over the world uh, that we can go back and forth on. Fastener weights, uh, we select the type of fastener. Let's check, check a uh, hexit cap screw again. The length we used in our example was two inches. Uh, it was steel. And this tells us that the half inch bolt that we wanted per 100 pieces is 14.4 pounds. Inspection sample sizes. We have a type, we're looking at bolts and screws. Uh, we're looking for dimensional, so we'll use the UCASME sample. Uh, we'll select height and our shipping lot size, let's say is 50,000 pieces. Therefore, we need to inspect seven pieces, uh, or excuse me, we need to inspect uh, four pieces uh, to properly inspect head height on that size of uh, bolt in that lot size. Faster test requirements. Uh, let's go back to our example of uh, SAJ429 grade five. And this lists all of the test requirements for that part. If you want to make sure that your uh, vendor has thoroughly inspected the parts, they should have information on each one of these characteristics. Locking performance. Uh, you select the size of part that you're looking at and what, the, uh, what its grade was and if it's nylon locking or if it's uh, all adhesive locking, you choose the correct one of these. This would be the nylon patch, and this gives us the torque requirements for qualifying the locking material. Tapping screw hole sizes. Uh, we check, uh, click on the type of part, the size, material we're going into and the thickness of that material and that tells us that the drill hole diameter would be 0.125 or a number eight drill or a one eight drill. Thread depth calculator. Uh, someone says I'm going into a casting and I want to know how deeply I should tap this part. 
let's use our example going through here, the half 13. Uh, the grade is a grade 5. And someone says, I'm going into a cast iron that is uh, 50,000 pounds per square inch. And that tells us that we'd need a minimum uh, depth of uh, engagement of 0.365 or 9 millimeters in depth so that we would generate enough resistance to stripping out to break the part. Uh, fastener finishes. This is a really helpful uh, capability for solving uh, customer issues on corrosion. Uh, if you know the type of finish and you just want information on it, you can select uh, any finish. And this gives you all the information or you can go back to that finish uh, or to that uh, screen. And let's say the customer says, I have to have a Rojas compliant finish. Uh, I want a uh, silver color. Uh, and I need a salt spray resistance of uh, 120 hours of salt spray. I hit submit. Go back here. And I get uh, a list of all of these types of finishes that would meet that criteria. And I can click on each one of these and compare them if I want to look into that. Uh, and the information that will come up would be this. Technical bulletins. Uh, over the years, uh, we have prepared hundreds of uh, bulletins about frequently asked questions uh, such that you can find the category of question that you have and go down through here uh, and find those articles. Very common question has to do with hydrogen embrittlement. Uh, we come here, hydrogen embrittlement and faster scientific information, Brahimi, uh, and we click on that. Open the bulletin. The bulletin comes up. And last but not least, if through all your efforts you don't find the information that you're looking for, you type in your, uh, your name, your email address, and specifically what your question is. You click send comments. That goes to one of the IFI engineering staff members, and you will always get a question within a response within 24 hours, frequently uh, faster than that, but at the latest 24 hours from the time you submit your, your question, you'll get a response giving you guidance on to the, as, either as to what the answer really is or what the uh, where to find the information that you're looking for. Hope that you have uh, found this demonstration informative. Uh, this is the most complete, comprehensive uh, resource for fastener technology information in the world. And we hope that you will decide to become a subscriber uh, so that you can provide the best possible technical information guidance to your customers. Thank you very much.